The northwest Victorian town of Avoca is marking a milestone, with trains passing through its historic station for the first time in more than 10 years. The rail revival is part of a $440 million plan designed to take thousands of trucks off the state's roads. Andrew Lund reports. The picturesque station has been restored, but for more than a decade, trains have been a rare sight in Avoca until now. The line between Meriburah and Ararat has been rebuilt, with engines now inching their way along the tracks as ballast trains ferry in rock and drivers learn their way along the new rails. Now suddenly an operating line after 15 or 20 years. The line was first opened in the 1870s and has been rebuilt as part of the Murray Basin Rail Project with brand new standard gauge tracks and upgrades to other ageing infrastructure. Bridges, uh, 35 culverts on this line alone that have been strengthened uh, and that started in December and we've completed that quite quickly. The return of trains to the region was enough to prompt a rare show of unity from the state and federal governments. It's going to help our farmers, it's going to help our grain growers, it's going to help a lot of industries. The estimation that was uh, provided through the business case work is it'll take 20,000 trucks off, uh, off local roads. This isn't the first time the rail line's been reopened, in fact it's the third, having been resurrected in 1966 and 1996. It's hoped this time the trains are here to stay. Goods trains are due to start running on the line in the coming months and some are daring to dream that tourist trains might one day follow. It's all possible because it's a nice, um, a nice circuit if you came out of Melbourne. Um, you could do a circuit from Ballarat through to Maryborough, through here to Ararat, back to Ballarat, back to Melbourne. But for now the focus is freight, so Avoca's station will continue to serve the town as an art gallery. Andrew Lund, Nine News.